Here, allow me to explain. I mean, yeah, so do, do we start, should we just start from the beginning? Well, we, we had to make a documentary for, for our intro to film class. We had a great idea. fiction video about me riding my little moped all around the place meeting different people going to interesting places and seeing how far I could go until I broke down and then what happened Kevin and the moped broke down before we were able to get out of the garage oh my god what happened um I think the tire went flat. Wait, how does that even happen? I don't know how that happened. It just went flat. Are you are you sure? I'm sure. Well, there were other reasons too why we couldn't do it. Because the weather. We looked on on the schedule for the week or the the forecast and it was going to rain every single day. So we couldn't film Kevin on a moped in the rain. Also, obviously, the moped got a flat tire. And it'd get really wet if it was raining, too. And I would not be happy. No, Kevin's not a happy camper and when, that, when that's the case. So next, we decided to do a documentary film documenting the Drawbridge Puppet Theater, which is a amazing business in my hometown of Lunenburg, Mass. So. We set up time to shoot, start to get some great interviews. Amazing uh, shot for the uh, interview with the owner too. Yeah, yeah, we'll, oh, we'll, yeah, we'll cut to that. That was a great shot. Then our SD card filled up. Oh well. Oh well, we were like, okay, well, we'll go back. We'll go back and shoot on Sunday when they actually have a show. I go into the editing lab and I start looking at the footage and I'm like, this is awful. Mm-hmm. I was like, I, I don't know what to do with this. And then Kevin, come, he comes in, and we're looking at the footage, and I was like, this is just, I don't know how we, what we can do with this. This isn't good. Which I guess isn't that bad. But, it, no, it is. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. So, I'm sitting there with Kevin, and I was like, Kevin, what happens? What happens if we just do our other idea of the, the Portuguese slash American heritage? And I said, wow, that sounds really boring. I guess um, working with Buffy and all that on this project and all the other projects, you know, she does really good, but she always wants to direct everything. She's always the boss. She never lets me do anything. I'm always the gaffer. I always tape down the lines. Always tape down the extension cords. Oh, then I say extension cord. She says, wait, that's called a stinger, Kevin, not an extension cord. So I'm like, big deal. And you know, then I'll turn on one of the spotlights, see if I can help. And she's like, you did not say striking. And it's like, big deal, who cares? This just makes me upset because I just know that I, I just put in so much more work than other people would. And then she had this idea for me to ride around on a moped, and I thought that would have been kind of dumb, honestly. So what she doesn't know is I went out and popped a hole in the tire, so I couldn't drive anywhere on it anyways, so she was all sad and upset that it wasn't going to work out. I don't want it to be the Buffy show anymore. I, I came to college because I wanted to work with other people, but no, 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 no. God forbid Buffy, Buffy has a group that does actual work. Instead I get people like Kevin. 
He's so tall and lengthy and ugh, it's uncomfortable. So awkward. Whenever I go to the parties, all the kids like to hang out around me and they just say how cool I am. And I realize, yeah, I am pretty cool. I got this. And when I go out there into the real world, it's just gonna be like a big party, dude. I think just overall, I just feel so deceived, you know? It's like almost as deceived as when I found out that Canopy was free for everybody at Fitchburg State. We gotta talk about how we got to our final documentary idea. Oh, we just decided we're gonna fail anyway, so why not document our failing process? Yeah. Great. So this is what you've been tuned into. This is why we failed to make a documentary. How does it feel? It's kind of sad because you just tried so hard, but it just didn't work. It just no didn't work, did. no matter what we did. It and just sometimes didn't. it's just not in your control. 